Hello lovelies. I've wanted to make a video lately but I've been uh, sucked into this sweet abyss. Have a look at what I mean. Nature's valley is where I want to be Where I let my soul roam free A heart on paper by the seaside Makes all my fears subside what am I My name's Rich J. This is Freezer Bird and I want to introduce you to one of my favorite places in South Africa. It's Wild Spirit Backpackers. Where must I go? The answers I don't know. The valley next to the sea is where I want to go. Ooh. They have a yoga class for beginners at 9 a.m. If I hurry, I can make it. Towards the sea. Only then reach forward enough. Press and Lean your body forward. Now you can straighten your back. your limbs nice and wide for a final Shavasana shape. Thanks. When I was a personal trainer, I used to think that yoga was too slow and airy-fairy. And maybe it is a bit slow and maybe a little airy-fairy, but it works me in a way that exercise can't. And it helps me to center in a way that I, I didn't when I would just push myself. I really like yoga now, now that I'm better at it. <laughs> All right, if you turn off the N2 onto the R102 towards Nature's Valley, you'll find Wild Spirit Backpackers featuring God's Window. <laughs> it is nestled on the corner of the Tsitsi Kama Forest, which means you're surrounded by nature, fauna, flora, wildlife, there's birds and baboons, <laughs> all sorts around. It's the perfect place to settle your mind, get in touch with nature. Slow and steady, I'm cruise control When life gets hard, I just want to go What am I doing? Where must I go? The answers I don't know The valley next to the sea is where I want to go Wild Spirit, they give you a variety of options for accommodation. You have private rooms, private bungalows, you can stay in a tree house if you like, and they also, of course, have dorms available like this. Wild Spirit has three tree houses for the inner child in you. But if you want to be truly freezer bird, you've just got to camp. And they've got some really cool camp spots here. On a drizzly day, one of the best activities to do at Wild Spirit is the Magic Forest. Where the rugged South African outback is transformed magically into a luscious rainforest. It's so peaceful in here, it makes me feel like I need to whisper. 
the best thing to do is to just sit silent and enjoy the sounds of nature. Well, that forest turned a stressful morning into a calm and resolute headspace. Magic. On the other side of the magic forest is one of my favorite parts about this place, and that's the waterfall. It's just this way. Come and have a look. I can hear it, we're getting close. It's so relaxing here, I wish I could stay for much longer. But it's breakfast time. So yeah, this uh, wild spirit place might not be for you. It might just be a bit too peaceful, a bit too quiet, a bit too serene, and maybe a little bit too hippie. <laughs> but if you do fancy a getaway out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nature, come check it out. Wild Spirit Backpackers. Oh, and here's God's window. What do you think? Have you seen a better view?